What's up YouTube, it's Kira here and we are back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kira Ray, and if you are returning, then welcome back. Y'all, I just got out of rehearsal and it is time for me to start my wind down routine. The scenes that we filmed today were pretty exhausting. I went exactly from nine to five dancing the whole time. Um, just repeating the same thing over and over again because it's filming so I was pretty beat down by the time I got out of rehearsal so first things first I usually just come in and just take a moment to just lay on my bed and just kind of recuperate myself for a little bit I'll check some emails or you know get on YouTube maybe watch a few episodes of the office before getting up and jumping into the shower this is my zen little area whenever i have a tiring day sometimes the best thing for me to do is just light my candle and just set the mood in my room into relax mode um, it just helps me kind of calm my body down and my thoughts and just allows me to prepare for the nighttime. It wasn't exactly a candlelit shower today, but I did go ahead and set my music for my shower. Giveon just released his new album last week and it is fire. So I've literally been blasting it like top to bottom for the past few days. So I turned that on and hopped right into the shower. I've gotten a lot of new products since the hygiene haul that I dropped a couple of weeks ago. So if you guys are wanting an updated shower routine slash hygiene haul, just let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, first things first, I go in with my Caress body soap. I ran out of my other scent, so I picked up this Daily Silk one. And this is honestly my favorite one, um, favorite scent out of all of the Caress scents that they have. It just smells so, so good and reminds me a lot of things from my childhood. So naturally, I just got my washcloth all lathered up and began washing my body. Next, I went in with my Honey Pot Sensitive Filming Wash. If you watch my videos consistently, any hygiene or shower routines that I've done, um, you already know that this is my go-to feminine wash. It is fragrance-free and just leaves me feeling so fresh and clean. Now I go to my exfoliating phase of my shower routine. I picked up this exfoliating um, little wash pad kind of thing a couple of days ago at Ulta and I bought it on a whim because I wanted to get rid of my loofahs and I am so happy that I purchased this. It felt so good on my body and left my skin feeling super silky and clean afterwards. So if you're looking for a good little exfoliator, go ahead and go to Ulta and check out what they have. Next, I wanted to do a little bit of shaving. I was really just cleaning up. This wasn't my full, like, you know, taking my time kind of shaving routine. Um, I've been watching videos about how to just get like really, really silky smooth skin. And this lady talked about how she used conditioner to shave. So I picked up this suave conditioner and just put it all over my body and just started cleaning up any areas where the hair was beginning to grow back. Now it is time to focus on these legs. So this is a really weird insecurity of mine, but I've just never been confident in my legs. I don't know why, but that's just how I am. So um, while looking at videos of how to get like silky smooth legs, I've also been like just trying to figure out different things that'll just make my skin appear more smooth and tighter and glowy. So um, one of the things mentioned was using a coffee scrub. Um, so I went to Ulta, of course, and picked up this coffee scrub just to, you know, start exfoliating my skin with it. And I will say my skin felt really good after using it and I could see results immediately. Um, this was my first day using them, but I'm really excited to see kind of what my legs are beginning to look like after a couple of weeks have passed. I also picked up the Truly Buns of Glory. Um, 
Again, with wanting to tighten up and make my skin appear more glowy, I've noticed that this was a product that a lot of people used and there were a lot of good reviews around it, so I picked that up as well. And my skin felt really good after using it. Um, so after using those two products, I just always like to end my shower with my um, Ambi Bar Soap. This helps to fade dark marks and any pigmentation around the body. So yeah, I just lather it up in my hands and just do a quick little wash and rinse off. Um, nothing like too serious with that, but yeah, that's how I like to end my showers. So fresh out of the shower is when I like to treat my skin. So I'll, you know, moisturize it and put on any serums that I like to use and wash my face. So first things first, I went in with my Kuka Concentrate Serum by Truly. Um, this helps to get rid of ingrown hairs. This product is amazing. And for anyone struggling with ingrown hairs down there, like y'all go and pick this up. And then I went in with these booty drop, um, this booty drop serum by Frankenbody. Um, this is my first time using it. Again, it helps with tightening the skin and making your butt, I guess, and just legs appear more um, glowy and smooth. It is infused with caffeine, which is really good for the skin. So yeah, that was that. And then I went in to my moisturizer I use the Cocoa Butter Lotion. Um, I no longer use the Jergens, mostly because I ran out, and just Cocoa Butter smells and feels way better on my skin, so that's what I went in on my lower half and my top before going in with my face wash and acne treatment. There's something about a shower that just makes me really dehydrated. I'm pretty sure it's because all of the like hot water and steam, like <laughs> I don't even know, but I was so thirsty when I got out of the shower. So I went to the kitchen and made me a nice glass of water before sitting down and icing my foot. So last week, I truly don't know what happened. I don't know if it was a minor sprain or if it's just an overuse injury because of just how much dancing I've been doing, but my right foot has been swollen for the past couple of days, and yeah, it kind of hurts to walk a little bit, so I've been icing it and putting some Arnicare and trying to roll out my feet as much as I can. I have one more week of filming left, so I kind of just need to get through it, and yeah, so I'm hoping it'll be better soon. Um, a clip is about to come up in a few minutes, me kind of explaining literally just what I said. But yeah, before I sat down and relaxed, I made sure I put some Arnicare cream on it. This is a roll-on, non-greasy, quickly absorbing, massaging cream. Um, it kind of just takes away any pain or muscle stiffness and swelling and bruising. So it's always a really good thing to put on your foot when you're injured or just in any area of your body when you're injured. And then I made me a small little ice pack and wrapped my foot with an old scarf that my third grade teacher gave me. <laughs> it's called a little wrap so I'm just gonna take this and wrap it up or maybe I should just go to the store no I'm gonna go to the store I'm gonna go buy a, a wrap for my foot because this is crazy this is insane I don't know what's going on I think I sprained it like it was a baby sprain but since like I keep dancing on it it's just 
kind of getting worse but every time I go to bed I'm like no it'll be better the next day and it's not so it hurts right now it like kind of burns and it's probably because I just took the ice off of it but yeah I'm hoping it'll be better by tomorrow you know I just have to get through this last week this is my last week of this project and then I can rest for a while so come on foot come on girl so here's me wrapping my foot. I went to the Walgreens, super quick trip up the street from my house and bought this like gauze or whatever it's called foot wrap for like $3, like wasn't expensive at all. And I just wrapped my foot. I will say my foot did feel better. Um, it did have a little pain during the night, but it wasn't anything that was like super unbearable. So um, the next day my foot did feel better. So I'm hoping that um, during this last week, you know, everything will be good. Um, yeah, I really think it was just overuse and that I just needed to have a really good day of rest, which I did. So, yeah. Um, next thing, I was really hungry. Like, I was getting extremely hangry and I was super bored. So, I was like, I need to eat. I went to Rodeo Goat the other night with my friend and had some leftovers so i just heated that up and sat down prayed over my food and began to eat the show of choice for tonight um was living single i love the show i've literally seen it so many times but it just never gets old so yeah i sat down enjoyed my food and yeah just relaxed and naturally i have to add this in there and no i am not sponsored by any of the products that you have seen or by any of the companies that you've seen in this video but i am gonna hype them up because it's so good body armor y'all this fruit punch body armor is so good and although i'm not sponsored by them yet i'm speaking it into existence that i will be soon but yeah it's so good super hydrating and just you know never fails so I drank me a little bit of my body armor and then headed to bed. So this has been a really nice relaxing evening after rehearsal and I am ready to go to sleep. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.